you talked about how this has humanised you. Yep. Aren't you? In, aren't you tempted? Well, I was always human. I it's know, but I didn't realise. No, no, right. I've come to love you, Ed, as a result of doing this show. I mean, not in the physical sense, but I adore <laughs> you now. <laughs> <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not tempted after this experience and the way that you've connected with the public to go back into politics? I mean, look, you've got Tony Blair on the sidelines saying he's thinking of coming back because there's a big gap in the centre ground. Don't tell me you've ruled it out. I've not ruled it out. I think that you never say never. But I did 20 years. I was a cabinet minister. We did some really important things. My book was about that period. Yes. And I then thought... You know, I'm going to move on, do new things. So I'm on Strictly, I'm chairing Norwich City, I'm doing some stuff at Harvard, and I'm not really... The, the, the um, thing I don't want to do is try and go backwards. I want to go forwards. And I'm not sure where forwards takes me, but it's not like um, I want to could, pretend I was, you know, I'm 10 years younger. It could take you into a new political party, though. Why don't you just start a new political party? Everybody's saying the Labour Party's washed up. All these <laughs> Labour MPs don't want to vote for Jeremy Corbyn. Why don't you think you're going to start the new party? We really need to have um, a good opposition. And Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party can't just speak to themselves. They've got to speak to centre-ground voters who want to have a choice and want to have a credible opposition. And that's what he's got to do. And, um, but the Labour Party's got 100 years of history and it's got great values. And you don't just throw that away just like that. Um, so uh, I think people want to stay in and try and turn things around. And I hope that, that they can. And I'll play my part in that if I can. Mm. Okay. And to go from shadow chancellor to base you were unemployed in one fell swoop I was. how did you how did you pick up the next day and well, and how, how do you how did you adjust um, normally in in life um, if you're in politics or if you're in in the media you have uh, um, some time to plan and I didn't think labor was going to be in government but I didn't think David Cameron would win a majority and therefore I thought I'd hold on to my seat so it just happened just like that and when it happened um, I had to think to myself well at least I'm not going to be for five years in opposition and I don't know what's going to happen but I'm going to do something new and um, a very good friend of mine rang me and said um, You've got to make sure that you don't just say you're spending time with your family, but on the other hand, don't make any quick decisions. Take your yeah. time and really try and work it out. And I think I'm still in the phase where I'm working it out. So in the meantime, I'm, you know, Having doing fun. Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah. <laughs>